welcome back to mlt world today in this video friends i will show you the machine for the h pylori detector and this is done by urea breath test this is the back side of the machine and we will switch on we will say helicobacter detector machine and other name is urea breath test machine so first when we will on the machine we have to write the username and id for and this machine is salis it's from china h pylori detector machine and this is the when this light will on it means now machine is on when first machine will on it will go to the self testing it will take time and weekly one time it will go to the calibration also that will take long time but now they update so it will not take more time so this is the background radiation calibration first we have to wait once the machine will be ready then prepare the patient for the um, test now this is the kit coming with the machine and there are two controls coming negative and positive control this is from same company the kit also sell this breath card card see this is the negative control coming very long expiry and we can run daily basis it will show one will be negative and one will be the positive control this control will be supplied by the supplier of the machine not with each kit and these are the capsules now this capsule card this coming with in the kit 40 capsules in this kit 40 cards are available so 40 capsules are available in part 2 of the video i will show you how we will prepare the patient for this test and how we will run this test in this video just i will show you information about the machine so now we will see maybe machine is ready yes now this is the main screen when machine is ready so in database uh, it will be the information of uh, history like uh, what what test we will run it will come and this is the button and this is will show the calibration now you see the background calibration is 106 if background calibration is more than 300 that time we will repeat the calibration and this, and this is is the main screen now machine is ready so first we will run the negative control and positive control so the controls we have to program same like patient and uh, there is not like specific column for option for control so in patient option we i just write an egc and means negative control and enter and then okay and this is the negative control for this uh, machine this negative and positive control coming very long expiry so daily base we will use and it will not cost more now see the card inter, uh, inserted is now showing and here light is blinking when light, green light will blink it means test is going on so you, this is the negative control result it came zero and dpm zero we have to see the dpm value and HP negative now you see when test will finish it will show red light and when we have to wait that when it become green light that time we can process next sample or control now I will program positive control uh, one more thing this keyboard is little bit sensitive so you have to don't worry if you press and word will not come and uh, it will come uh, just by practice and just I write positive C and enter and then ok uh, sorry by mistake it came in number option no problem now we will enter in the patient this positive control space and C enter and okay now you see no card in inserted is you now it's black color and machine is ready so we will insert the card and you see already we mark our control plus and minus now you see it become green color it means card is ins inserted it will take time but just i not show the process time and see positive control now it's finished and it's black and result is 4030 4030 it's showing 4 plus 
so our control is good so now we will again wait that uh, this red color will finish and when green color will come that time we can process the patient sample in part two of this video i if i get chance if any patient is ready to record the video that time i will show you the process of this sample how we will make the patient ready for this sample and uh, how to fill the card with the uh, air or breathing and how we will run the patient sample if i get chance soon i will upload that video this is the manual this is coming with the kit your uh, sorry with the machine your supplier will uh, provide this manual and in this manual all details related to the machine available parts of the machine and uh, procedure of the machine like you see the test running how we will run the test here you see it's written background should not be sorry background should be less than 330 so if background will be more than 330 this point if background will be more than 330 that time we will go to the option of menu and we will click a, again uh, calibration and machine will do again calibration as you saw the uh, when we on the machine it will it went to self testing initialization and then main screen came and sometime if machine need uh, calibration it will go to the calibration and then how we will proceed sample test and then how we will do the reporting now you see if the dpm value is less than 99 it will be it means that the result is negative and it indicates that no h pylori infection uh, later on i will show you the values and then this is how we will do the regular maintenance cleaning uh, for regular maintenance we need background calibration that we have to perform once in a month and general cleaning and uh, disinfection and uh, how to disinfectant the machine and this is like how we will do when required maintenance and then the troubleshooting of the machine what what problems can come when that time what we have to check to cover our troubleshooting sorry to solve the troubleshooting problems so this is the manual of the machine uh, okay no problem in next my video i will show you in detail the result but uh, the positive control is more than 99 and negative control is less than 99 and then in positive control there is like 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus so in later video i will show in my coming video when i will run the patient sample then i will that time i will show you the normal ranges also how we will report